YouTube, what is up? If you are a yo-yo player, whether you're a total beginner or an absolute beast of a pro, you need a well-maintained bearing. It's a very essential part of just your overall yo-yo maintenance, is just knowing how to clean your bearing properly and keep it well lubed. So today, I'm gonna show you how to take, whether it be an old beat up bearing that you need to clean, or a brand new one that's just not playing right, um, how to strip it down, clean it, and then how to um, properly lubricate it where it'll play to its optimal performance. It won't be too loud. It'll still be nice and unresponsive and it'll really spin great. So let's go over there. I'll show you what you need and we can get started. Okay guys, so I am gonna demonstrate this on my Magic Yo-Yo Hot Diggity, my signature model Yo-Yo. But no matter what bearing you got, um, even if it's not a bearing for a Yo-Yo, this is the best way to clean your bearing in general. But for a yo-yo, this will have your yo-yo spinning to optimal performance, whether it's brand new or if it's old and it's just a little dirty and needs to be cleaned out. Now, there is three different solvents that I would recommend. We got odorless mineral spirits, which is a type of like paint thinner. It's like the active ingredient in paint thinner. Some good old fashioned lighter fluid or just regular acetone. Now, any of these solvents work great. All of them can be found at your hardware store or at Walmart, anywhere like that. Um, my opinion on which one to buy is buy the one that you might have the most other uses for. Because obviously you get a giant container, so it's more than you're ever going to need for just some bearings. So say you fill up Zippos a lot. You have a lot of Zippos, get this. Uh, if you do a lot of painting and stuff like that, get, get, or get one of these. If you know, This is actually... The same stuff. These look like what you use to like remove glue, stuff like that. So if you have weird projects like like that, get that. Or to remove nail polish, things like that. Um, this is more for thinning out paint and stuff. So I don't know. Just they all work great. I actually did a video comparing all of them, and I got the exact same results with all of them. So I didn't even put the video out because it was so boring. And uh, yeah, just use any of them. It doesn't matter. Uh, for demonstration, I'm going to use the mineral spirits. Um, because the acetone, I can't stand the smell of it, and um, I don't know. I, I just feel like using this because <laughs> I, I actually don't don't mind the smell of it that much. Okay, now first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get our bearing out of our yo-yo. Now to get the bearing out, you can either use a tool like how I have here. I have my magic yo-yo bearing removal tool on my keys. And uh, I can just pop it in and get the wiggle the bearing out. It comes right out. Uh, if you do not have one of these sick magic area tools, you should get one. Uh, otherwise, you can just use a pair of pliers. Just use this the, the circle part of your pliers. Um, and actually, a lot of needle nose pliers actually have a like a semi-circle cut part in them. You could use that too. But same thing, you just grab it. And you when you go to get it out, you just wiggle it back and forth. And you don't, don't squeeze too tight. You don't want to break the bearing, but you, know, you don't got to be too shy either. Now, these bearings, let me focus in on here. Now, this bearing has a shield on it. Now, you can get bearings with shields on them like this, or you could actually, sometimes your bearing might come without a shield, like that. Okay, now I always prefer there to not be a shield, because when something gets stuck in there, um, and even with the shield, stuff can still get stuck in there. Um, and a lot of times the actual metal itself will slightly deteriorate and there'll be little microscopic metal fibers and stuff. They can get out, you know, if, if there's no shield on there, it, it's harder to get, in, to get in and get out, you know, it's just like a double-edged sword. Uh, also too, I, I just feel like it's a lot, I don't know, for some reason, I just, I, maybe it's all in my head, but I feel like they spin better too when the shields are off. That could all be in my head. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to take off the shields. And you can put the shields back on when you're done. But I like to leave them off. Now, this might this kind of be a pain to do on camera, but I'm going to try to do it. Okay, now on all these bearings, there is a little clip. Okay, so right in here, there's, a, there's like a ring that goes all the way around, and there's an opening right there. I know this is really hard to focus on. There's right right in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pry a pin underneath the opening on that clip and pull it out. Okay, this might take me a couple tries. This is a total pain to do. 
And it's much easier to do when you're not trying to keep it in the viewfinder of the camera. Okay, so it's being finicky. You could also use an X-Acto knife for this, but I prefer a pin because if you slip, I'd rather poke myself with a pin than stab myself with a knife. Uh, that's just that's just my opinion, though. All right, I almost got it. See, these things can be a little jerk sometimes. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. See, and once you get this little clip off, that's what holds the shield down there. So if you take that little piece off, then that shield will just fall off and exposing the bearings. All right, I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to do this real fast here on the table because I'll be able to do it easier, um, I think. No. Oh, well. I'll, I'll go back. I'll show you guys. You know what? Why not? There we go. First try on that one. Okay. So after you do it a little bit, or sometimes you get lucky, uh, and it comes off a little easier. Okay, so now we have all the ball bearings exposed, shields off, and I'm just going to throw these away. I don't, I don't like to keep these, but if you want to put them back on when you're done cleaning it, you just um, put the side back on, and then you reclip the C-clip on there, uh, and then it just, it's on there. Okay, now I'm going to use the odorless, odorless mineral spirits, so I'm just going to put a little in this shot glass. Okay, and first stage is we are going to totally strip clean everything off the bearing. So we're just going to leave it in the solvent for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now, if it is a very dirty bearing, I recommend putting whatever solvent into a little pill container or something with a top or a, a little jar and shake the crap out of it. But this is this one isn't very bad. This is a you know, lightly used bearing and... It, it doesn't have a lot of gunk in it. So I'm just going to let it sit in here for five minutes and we will be right back. But if it's a little more dirty, you know, maybe do a little longer um, or just do, you shake the crap out of it. But we're going to leave it for five minutes and I will be right back. All right, guys. So it's been sitting in here for a good five minutes. So now I'm going to take the bearing out. Okay, now check this out. This is a little, a little pro tip here. You want to take a pencil and you are going to just jam it Jam it on there so it's stuck on there. And you can spin it dry just by hand, or you can do this. This does it for you in seconds. Take a can of dust off and spray the bearing. And it gets it just spinning crazy fast. And uh, instantly dries it off. And you can kind of break a bearing in really fast. Look at that. That's super, super cool. Okay, so now now our bearing is totally dry uh, and it's clean. Um, it's spinning perfect, but we need to put some type of thin lube on there. But we don't want to have the lube thick enough where it's going to slow down the bearing, but we need to have some type of lubricant on there so it prevents the bearing from corroding. Um, these things spin incredibly fast, and it's metal on metal when there's no lube. They will heat up, and over time, it'll destroy your bearing if there's no lubricant at all on them. Otherwise, you end up cleaning them all the time. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna make a thin lubricant that will work as a cleaner now to maintain your bearing. So like once, unless your bearing is really bad, you don't really have to do this. You can kind of just add your thin lube. Um, so what we are gonna do is, I am gonna use the same solvent, um, but then we are the lubricant we are gonna use is this three-in-one oil. Now this is, this is by far my favorite stuff. You can use um, like baby oil or sewing machine oil I've used in the past, and I had good results, but this stuff uh, is by far my favorite, and you can get it anywhere. Any hardware store, or any regular store has this. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use this, but I'm gonna dilute it with my solvent, the same solvent I used um, for the bearing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Like, see I have this shot glass here. And uh, just, you know, I'd say that's about a tablespoon of, of uh, lubricant. Okay, then I'm going to take this and really, really dilute it out. Okay, so I probably went about four parts. Well, actually, there's measuring things on here. So I had it at, it was at the one teaspoon line. Now it's just over four teaspoons. So yeah, like four parts solvent is what I did to one part um, non-solvent. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my pencil 
But you can use anything that's not something you're going to put in your mouth. You know, no, don't use like a a spoon or something that, or a knife that you're going to put back. You just throw it in the dishwasher. You know, you don't want to do that. These, I'm never going to use these for anything besides like projects and shit. So, okay. Now, you could put this in a pill jar and use it uh, and store it as your solvent. Um, or I mean, as your uh, thin loop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a little squeeze bottle. This is very similar to if you bought Thin Loop, say, the Yo-Yo Factory Thin Loop. Or back in the day, we had Yo-Yo Jam Thin Loop. And they came in this. And this is just an eyedrop container that it was empty. So I took the label off of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress it the most I can. And we are going to dip it in and just let it suck up some of this lube. Okay, so I got it a little bit. And if I want to put a little more, I, I squeeze it while it's this way. And then I flip it over, put it back in there. I can suck up some more. Okay. Mixing it while I suck it up so it stays nice and mixed. And check it out, I got, just doing it like that, I filled up almost this thing and I'll use, so I'll get the rest in there off camera. Um, but for sake of the video, so now, when I need to just thin lube up a bearing, bada bing, bada boom, I'm all good to go. Um, and now what I want to do with this one is I want to use like a toothpick or a pin, something where I can just get a tiny, tiny bit. You could, I could use the dropper, but this is uh, another way to do it, especially if you don't have one of these and you put it in like a pill jar or something. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit on a toothpick and I'm just going to drip it actually on the bearings. I'm going to do one on this side too. A little more. Now, I made this really thin for a reason. Okay, now the nicest thing about this is now the bearing won't be quite as loud, but it still will spin really good and it won't, it'll be totally unresponsive. So I'm putting it back on the pencil now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spin it dry. Get all the extra lube off of it. Okay, spin it nice and good there. Okay, so now we just throw it in our yo-yo. Throw a string on there and test it out. So I'm gonna put this yo-yo back together. Throw a string on there. And, oh, oops, my, ha my axle fell out. Oh, oh, got it. <laughs> um, yeah, let me put this yo-yo back together off camera. Grab a string and I'll show you how it works. All right, guys. So now the yo-yo is nice and, nice and unresponsive, uh, but it's also spinning fabulous and it's really quite quiet too. Now, when you're doing this, you can totally alter it slightly. What I recommend doing, especially if it's your first time doing this, is write down everything, keep some notes, write a journal or whatever, put like exactly how much you used of each of the solvent, how much you used of what lubricant. And if say you go to do it and it's still, it, it's, a, it's slightly responsive, just thin, thin, thin your mixture out with a little more solvent. Or when you go back to the drawing board and make more, Put a little less lubricant in it, you know, or vice versa. Same thing like if you say your yo-yo is spinning great, but it's really loud. Put a little more lubricant in your mixture and you'll be good. But yeah, that's why I recommend going down and doing it notes and making like in small batches. So if your first time doing it, you, you don't like the way it comes out, you know, you could just easily dilute it or add more. I mean, you're not trying to do it to a big mixture. And this is something, once you have your yo-yo maintained, you just add a little bit, like, you know, every time your yo-yo gets a little loud or feels, you know, just add a little bit of lube. You know, it's something, once you do the initial cleaning, unless you get something stuck in there, then you don't need to. Oh, and here is a pro tip. If you ever get a piece of hair stuck in your bearing, uh, once, you, now that you have the shields off, this is a very easy way to get it out. So just hold your bearing with pliers. You can even hold it with your fingers. Uh, if you're a kid, have your parents do this. Take a lighter, go... Just like for like two seconds, just like that. It won't burn your hand, but it'll singe the hair completely and then re-clean it. So if you have a lot of dog hair at your place or you get a piece of your human hair in there or whatever, yeah, that's pro tip. Super easy. I have dog hair all over my apartment. Happens all the time. It takes two seconds. Go with a lighter, re-clean your bearing. Boom. The hair is gone. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, let me know down below if you, uh, if you make your own thin lube, if you clean your own bearings. Uh, if the video helped, what else you want to see, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys later. Remember, you can still get uh, Magic Yo-Yo Hot Diggities at uh, Zipline Strings. I think Yo-Yo Sam has some still too. So, very affordable Yo-Yo. Uh, yeah, and it's got my name on it. So, you know, why not? See you guys later. Peace.